everyone, I'm Catlin, and this is the news. Saturday Night Live celebrated their 40th anniversary over the weekend, and this star-studded extravaganza proved many things, three of which are Paul Simon is the smallest human being currently residing on the planet Earth, Lorne Michaels is absolutely 100% a vampire, that man has not aged, and if you're not a vampire, what moisturizer are you using? And three, in 40 years worth of comedy, you can fit every single successful sketch into just three and a half hours. Live from New York City, this is Wet News Wednesday! Did you think that Fifty Shades of Grey was the worst movie to premiere last week? If you did, you're wrong. Picture this. It's a sleek Mediterranean landscape. The waves are lapping wistfully at the beach. And you're almost waiting for Chris Harrison to come over and say, this week on The Bachelor. But instead of Chris Harrison, it's Isis, and they behead two dozen Egyptians. Why? Oh, you know, because they like Jesus. Also, people, if these guys are running around with the same kind of production value as an ABC Monday night show, they've gotten too comfortable. The Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition is on stands. Oh, I love it. Just a whole month dedicated to female insecurity. But model Hannah Davis, who's gracing this year's cover, almost gave away the goodies in the frontal crotchal region. And she's brought to light the newest body part for women to scrutinize, the mom's pubis, the fupa or for you plebeians out there, the upper vag. Someone in Soho is just waiting to pluck, bleach, and rub that down with some lavender oil. And you know what this reminds me of? A little known fact. Do you know what Audrey Hepburn, Harriet Tubman, and Eleanor Roosevelt have in common? They all give zero fucks about the mom's pubis. There are racist fans in Paris. Paris, Texas? No, Paris, France. Who's fans? Chelsea fans. Clinton? No, Chelsea Football Club. Football? No, soccer. I know, it's really confusing, but the only clear point is that racism is stupid. There is so much snow in Boston that people are jumping out their windows. No, they haven't lost the will to live. That's just how they're currently getting out of their apartments. Much to the chagrin of the mayor, you will not have snow time fun, not on my watch. Really? I mean, come on guys, it is dangerous. You could jump down onto a, a broken bottle or the body of a dead Yankee fan. Jeb Bush has declared that if he runs for president, his position on foreign policy is to increase defense spending. Bush's position on foreign policy is to increase defense spending. Increase spending on defense, Bush will to gain. We have an update. An update on Russia. That's right, it's come to light that Putin has a new army. Who is, it, who is this army made up of, you ask? Oh, scantily clad undergrads who are just trying to launch their modeling career. That's right, they're paid by the Kremlin to support their shirtless, bear-riding leader. Big pimpin' with Papa Putin. Finally, the Oscars are this Sunday, and it's gonna be real white. That's right, head down to your local Trader Joe's, pick up some mini quiches, crack open a nice cold bottle of Sauve Blanc, and get ready for a lot of little gold crotch grabbing. Thanks again for joining us this week. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and, you know, keep watching us and stuff. Always remember, if you can't make good decisions, make safe ones. See you next week.